Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Time to cheap build in action. Brought to you in prime time. In fellow vision. Yeah. Right, quit working. Okay, people. I've been jamming. Here a little flashlight. Look in there, what do you see? Fuel tanks installed, glued in. Got my clunks on. Got that big tubing coming out of them. See that big brass tubing? For this, I got this big old fuel line, man. This stuff is just huge. Huge. It's hard to find stuff this big. But uh, John's got one of them uh, Bob Violet uh, metal. Or not Bob Violet, Tom Cook. A uh, metal UATs. I'm swapping him a Hanson trap for. <laughs> he wants to have one of them Hanson super traps for uh, his cougar. So I just so he swapped me. I gotta go over there tonight and pick it up. But uh, what I got going on? Okay, tanks are glued in. Ducks are installed. Wings are bolted on. Okay, this is all going to work out all right. Uh, the wing bolts are accessible. Got a flashlight here. See, they're, they're right there. Not even too far in there, really. You know, without this in there, you can just stick your hand in there real easy. But, uh, that to just pull forward. I'm gonna have to put some mounts. I trimmed it, but I trimmed a little bit too much too much off. So I'm gonna make me some uh, ones out of aluminum that I can bend and then bolt screw to that wood right there to hold that in place. Okay, and uh, there's my airlines, and I'm gonna zip tie my extension cords to them airlines right there. So I'll make them easy. There's my hole. Uh, see my wing okay and uh, we are trucking man got my air tanks installed right there fuel tanks still got tons of room there's all my extension cords get everything tidied away this, uh, this thing's going to be so neat he ain't hardly going to see nothing. <laughs> okay. Now what I got to do is I got to put my... Oh, someone asked me what this was and where I got it. Uh, this is uh, a uh, air power multifunction valve. Okay. This one came from DreamWorks. And, uh, man, these are cool. These are actually got a uh, fail safe on them. If your gear seeps down to 50 pounds of pressure, they automatically come down, bam, before you get uh, before you get uh, out of air. And uh, works your gear, your gear doors, and your brakes. You got proportional brakes, and they're kind of pricey, but you ain't got to buy all the mother valves and servos to work them, you know. So. It all kind of comes out in the wash. You know, by the time you buy a Bob Violet smooth stop valve and all the, you know, a servo to work it, then a valve for the gear and a servo to work it, then something to work the gear doors, you know, you're going to tie up just as much money. And uh, not have a nice sleek little unit like that. Remember I had those gear working in the gear door so I cut them off so I know what color to put where. I'm going to make this all real simple. I just cut them things rather than uh, trying to pull them off and break them dang ears or them tabs. You know. Okay, the green one goes on first, and the yellow one, but I've been jamming today. 
Dad brought them gear over and oh, he's got to make a couple more adjustments. It's a cool thing what he's doing, but man, it's just, uh, you know, mounting that air cylinder. On the gear, it's just uh, not as simple as it sounds, you know. He just ran into some issues that he did not even think about. Uh, scissors don't work with the door. But we've about got them figured out. Where's the covers go? And I also like to keep these air hoses together. This is the ribbon stuff. Okay. And uh, man, I keep that together wherever I can. And uh, cuts down on the mess, you know. When I peel them back like that, I don't peel them back very far. And you see the my T's stay right together. And uh, helps keep everything neat. Neat and purdy. Okay, remember this. First the blue one, then the red one. Remember that. I'll just take these scissors, man, and cut right down into it and cut that top little bit. And they pull right off without messing breaking them nipples off, especially on tees and stuff. You pull them tees right apart in gear, I mean, uh, air cylinders, pull them nipples right off of that. And what did I say? Blue, then the red. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch this video to see now. Doggone it. Consider this. There's another hole. Uh -huh, right there. Oh, but that's too close to that edge. Oh, well. Sounds like she's home. And this video is over. What perfect timing. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'll make you another video tonight. So we'll see you back in the shop. Same Bob time.